you doing? So, today, I was going to do some chainsaw work. But I'll be honest, I'm sore. <laughs> I am so sore. Ah, uh, boy. You know, see, I got this new job a while back. And I haven't really spoke about it much. Uh, I haven't done any video from the job or anything. It's not, it's not one of those kind of positions where I could do that sort of thing. You know what I mean? But I am going to tell you, this is probably the best job I've ever had in my life. <sighs> Easily. Easily. Um, like, I've worked at places to where... I needed a day off or something or needed some time off or something and you get resistance you know you need time off no we can't do that you know what I'm talking about well that came up recently at this job and I needed some time off for a doctor visit and you know what happened you need a day off no problem really that's what happened no problem. Uh, in fact, well, you, you can use a personal day and get paid for the whole day and just take an entire day off if you'd like. Uh, you're going to be earning a lot of these and, you know, why not use it as a, you know, pay time off. And I decided, you know what, let's do that. And I took a day off all day, went to my doctor appointment. You know, it took uh, like three or four hours. Yeah. You know, it took half a day to do the doctor appointment, but still uh, there was no issues whatsoever you know it was more of a you know take care of yourself kind of a deal and you know you don't really appreciate it until those moments come along you know you, I kind of got used to that life of you know getting that resistance of taking time off or whatever and at this one it just doesn't happen you know it's pretty nice but I can tell you one thing. See, I spent, you know, 10, 10 and a half years behind a steering wheel of a truck, driving around. And with that lifestyle came, you know, certain health issues. Uh, when you don't get any exercise at all, you get big and fat, like I did. <laughs> you know? Uh, in fact... Well, I'll, I'll just tell you that my weight got up to the 350 to 360 range, um, which is, you know, I, I think I gained 80 pound or so doing that job, maybe even a hundred, <sighs> you know, if you go back far enough, I know I gained a hundred pound. There was a, there's a time where I didn't weigh as much as I do now, but since I took this job though, things have been changing. You see, I still use my CDL, but it's not a CDL job. Uh, you know, the driving only lasts for a short amount of time. Uh, most of the time I'm in a dump truck if I am driving. Uh, tandems, single axles or whatever. And it doesn't last long. You know, there was only one time where I spent all day it literally driving the truck. You know, once, that only happened once. But for the most part, I'm, you know, part of the crew uh, out and about and doing things and everything. And, you know, it's starting to uh, show, I guess you can say. Uh, I know I can feel it. <sighs> now, when I say I can feel it, this is I'm sore. And I don't think you realize how sore I am. I can hardly lift my arms up in the air. Like, it hurts that much. Especially in through here. Um, so, do you want to know what made me sore? Been running a jackhammer. <laughs> now, if you've never ran a jackhammer before, you know, they're really not that bad to run. They aren't. But it is, they, they use muscles that... You, you haven't used these muscles in maybe forever. <laughs> and I'm telling you what, just to hang on to it and keep it, you know, positioned just right and everything, 
it just you can't imagine so like yesterday was it a job uh it took well we were going down eight feet we're using a backhoe to dig and you know we're going through the road so the road is blacktop on top below that's eight inches of concrete with rebar that we had to hammer through now the blacktop is easy blacktop is one of the easiest things you can hammer it's almost like hammering dirt really uh, you just kind of stick the hammer in there get it started and just kind of peel it back and kind of peel it off like an like an orange peel you know pretty easy stuff uh, you just basically cut your hole out make a line or you know hammer out a little area to where the the backhoe can get in there and start digging at it and then peel it up load it on the dump truck done but concrete on the other hand is a whole other level especially when it's got rebar in it the rebar wants to hold it you know it doesn't want to let it loose that that's what it's there for so you literally got to get there and hammer and hammer and hammer and hammer and for a small space just big enough for a hole of what we needed to make i think we were there two two and a half hours just you know what i mean now we took turns on the hammer um but it it you know you're using muscles you've never used before and i'll tell you what boy i got sore from that one but then today we were out and we had to do it all over again <laughs> two days in a row we had to do this so today when i grabbed i was the first one to grab the hammer and i start on it and i'm like you know <laughs> that thing just beats the spot out of me i'm telling you 20 minutes within 20 minutes my arms were just rubber i couldn't move it a jackhammer is like 100 pounds you know and when you hammer it down in you gotta pull it back up and move it over to the next spot and i was just struggling i just didn't have it you know my muscles are shot they just wouldn't pick it up and i was struggling and i was kind of happy you know after about 20 minutes i bet those guys were laughing but they uh one of the guys came over and said hey let me take over and normally i'd be like oh, i'll finish it it's all right <laughs> but not, to not, not today and i just like yep go for it <laughs> you know what i mean i just i was just so dang sore but man it sucked uh now you know today was one of those days you know another one of those days it pounded down through the pavement there was no concrete at this one so it was a lot easier once we got through the the blacktop or whatever it was easy but still you know that jackhammer man will that wear you out <laughs> Oy. Uh, uh, some of our guys you know they've been doing it for so long they can stand there all day and just hammer away no problem you know they're used to it but i can tell you those guys are in a lot better shape than i am uh, hopefully i'll get there one day um you see i've been losing weight uh, that's one of the things, you know, I've been going to the doctor about. Um, you see, when I was driving, my health really started going downhill. And I didn't really, as you can say, disclose this information on the channel. Um, it was getting pretty rough. <sighs> you know, uh, my weight hit a point to where it was hard for me to lift my legs and just walk. It, it was rough. So, you know, I've been working at it. And I can tell you, I don't know how much I've shrank. I didn't measure, but I'm down two holes on the belt. And when I look down, I can see my knees. I used to not be able to see my knees. You guys who don't have that, never had that issue or whatever, you don't know, you don't understand how good it feels when you look down and that belly is just, it's not there anymore. You know, it's not bulging out like a, a pregnant lady anymore. You know, it's starting to flatten out. When I can look down and see my knees, I can put my shoes on. Um, see, there was a point when I put my shoes on, I'd have to hold my breath because I couldn't, I just couldn't get it, do it without holding my breath because when I'd bend over, it'd be like squeezing the gut and it'd take your breath away, you know? Not anymore. Those shoes are gone. And, you know, I feel great. 
<laughs> I do. I feel so much better from it. But, you know, I still got a bit to go until physically it's a little easier. Because right now, like, I'll go, I'll work all day, and I'll come home. But, man, am I exhausted. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Like, it is handing my butt to me, I'll tell you. <sighs> you know, when I started there, you know, they sent me out. I was doing a lot of grass cutting, weed whacking and stuff. You know, I got, you know, some of the worst jobs, uh, you know. But over over time, I'm starting to work my way into some of the better work, you know. The longer you're there, you got to learn all the different jobs. Uh, they make pretty much everybody experience all the bad stuff as well as all the good stuff, you know. It's, it's part of the process. You kind of work your way up to it. And, you know, I'm working along. Uh, slowly but surely but you know I don't think they'll be able to get me to quit this job ever just the benefits and how well they treat you and everything is just absolutely fantastic heck the guys that I work with it, it it's a field it's a you know you're, you're physical you got to be physical in this job and so you know, I was, I, I was open about it. You know, I changed my diet and all sorts of stuff. And it's great that the, I'm working with a bunch of guys who look out for me like that. You know what I mean? It just, it's something that never happened. It just, it's weird. Like, it, it, I never expected this stuff. So you can't imagine how much I enjoy this job or how much I appreciate being there. These, these are the best group of people I've ever met in my life. Um, you know, I mean, today at a home, I was hungry. I was looking for a snack and everything. You know, people are looking for, you know, I used to look for a snack by going finding some potato chips or something like that. You know what I had for a snack today? Cucumber. Would have never thought to do that before. You know, I like cucumbers. I'm not saying anything there, but I used to go for the bag of chips, but when now... I'm going for the cucumbers. I'm going for green peppers. I'm going for whatever. I actually don't eat many fruit anymore. I, uh, I've been working on cutting sugars out. So soda, it's gone. Uh, for the most part, I'd say 99% of it, maybe. Soda's out. Teas are out. No coffee. Um, I, am, I actually avoid anything with sugar in it. Um, I, I'm a, I love fruit. I do, but it has like a natural sugar about it. So I've been cutting a lot of that out. I've been sticking more with the vegetables than the fruits. <sighs> now I know some things are actually, you know, you, people think they're vegetables when they're actually fruit, you know, like in all of them, you know, they're actually a fruit, but you know, most people include them in with the vegetables. Now I'm talking the high sugar content, like the high natural sugar content fruits, you know, I've cut them out pretty much, you know, all that stuff. And I can tell you, I'm losing weight and it's coming off fast. Um, 30, 35 pound already, somewhere in there, 30 to 35 pound is already gone and it's coming off, you know, uh, I last saw my brother a month, month, a month and a half ago. He was here the other day, and the first thing he said was, wow, you're losing weight. And I tell you, I feel it. I, I'm at that point now that, like, every day I wake up, and I'm like, man, I can feel it. And it's it's feels so good. <laughs> it does. But, I, you know, I'll be honest, though. I don't think I could have done it if I hadn't switched jobs and found a job with so many people who are willing to stand behind me and help encourage it. You know, uh, what can I say? If any of those guys are watching, thank you. Uh, some of them have subscribed. Some of them have subscribed to the channel, and you know who you are. And I say thank you because every time you mention about when I go for that candy bar or that soda or something, and every time you mention it, it's like a little reminder for me. You know. Um, sometimes I do it and I don't think about it, you know, I'm just looking for that snack, you know, and you know, they remind me, Hey, you're on a diet. You shouldn't be doing that. And I do appreciate it. So 
thanks guys if you're watching um but anyway i just wanted to say you know i i was going to do some work but i can't i'm just too sore i need to heal <laughs> this this that hammer really beat the snot out of me <sighs> if you guys have never experienced it you know it's it's something new. I'll tell you. It's basically best way I can explain to explain it is you're basically like doing push-ups at 50 a second <laughs> or something like that because that sucker's bouncing, you know, and you're you're you you constantly have muscle tension on it. So as it's moving and bouncing, it, it's like doing 50 micro push-ups every second or two or three or whatever it is. So think about that. <laughs> And then hang on to this for a period of time. There's people out there who can run a jackhammer for eight hours all day, every day. And I'll tell you what, the pain they must have gone through to be able to handle it is astounding. They should be getting paid way better than what they probably are, I'll tell you. You really earn it doing running one of those. But... You know, I wanted to make a video for you guys today, working on a saw. I was going to work on the home light or the Pro Max 610, but I'll tell you, I can't hardly move a muscle. So I'm sorry, but you're going to have to laugh at me on this video. And hey, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.